What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossmarTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hope you guys are doing well too. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Armbian on your Orange Pi PC. You guys don't know, I did an unboxing of my Orange Pi PC. It's a alternative to the Raspberry Pi. It's basically like a Raspberry Pi, but a little bit different. Again, today we're going to be installing Arbian on the Orange Pi PC. So let's get started. First thing you need is to buy a Orange Pi PC. They're pretty cheap. I got mine for like $25. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can pick up one for yourself. You're going to need a power supply for it. Uh, again, I'll leave a link to the power supply as well because it does not come with the Orange Pi PC. You're going to need an uh, internet connection and, and you're going to need a micro SD card so we can install Arbian on our Orange Pi PC. Let's get started. First things first, open up the browser. You're gonna navigate to this URL here, armbian.com. The link will be in the description if you guys wanna check it out. The link to this will be in the description. We're gonna navigate to downloads. Then at downloads, we're gonna scroll down so we see the Orange Pi PC, click on it. Then we're gonna click on this. Uh, this is the latest version, Debian Jesse, click on it. And then the download should start. Give it about two or three minutes to download. I already downloaded mine, so I'm just gonna cancel. All right, so after you finish downloading that, we're gonna need to download a utility called Win32 Disk Imager. This utility will allow us to burn our uh, image to the SD card. The link to this uh, utility will be in the description. I'm going to go to files here. Then in files, click on archive and click on the first one you see right here. Click on it. Uh, it should start downloading. I'm not going to download mine because I already downloaded it. Uh, follow the instructions. Next, next, yes. Once you finish that, we're going to move on to the next step. Now the next step is to download something called 7-Zip. I'll leave a link to this in the description. It's basically going to allow us to unzip our uh, image file. When you download the Armbian image, it's in 7-Zip. So this will allow us to extract the file. So all we need is the image file so we can burn it on our SD card. So download that. So I downloaded my Armbian image to the desktop. Navigate to wherever you downloaded yours. You're gonna double click it, click OK. You're gonna right click it. Then under uh, 7-Zip, you're gonna click on Open Archive. What I like to do with mine, I created a folder and I just highlighted all the files in here, copied it, right? All right, so what you're gonna do is just move this over here, created like a new folder, name it whatever you want. I'll call my new folder three, whatever. You can name it whatever you want. And what I what I did is just drag all the stuff to this folder. You can name your folder wherever you want, drag all the stuff. It would take like about a minute to extract everything. Once it's finished extracting, I'm gonna come back. All right, once it's finished extracting, we're going to close this. Now we're gonna open up Win32 Disk Imager. We downloaded it and we installed it earlier. I have a shortcut to mine. Just navigate to yours, open it, and make sure your micro SD card is connected to the computer. You'll, you'll know because you'll see a drive loader here. Then we're gonna click on this folder icon. Then we're gonna navigate to the image we just extracted with 7-Zip. And mine is in the desktop. I called it new folder three, right? I'm gonna click on this. This is the Armian image that we're gonna burn onto the SD card. So click on open and we're gonna click on right. Click on yes. And uh, you guys gotta be careful before you do this. You gotta make sure anything on that micro SD card that you want backed up or saved, you're gonna wanna back up and save because once we once we start this process, it's gonna rewrite over everything and you can't retrieve any of the files that are on the micro SD card. So be very careful. And this should take like two to three minutes to burn. Once this finishes burning, I'm gonna come right back. All right, we're finished burning the image onto our micro SD card. We're gonna click on OK. And the next step is to actually take the micro SD card, connect it to our Orange Pi PC, connect a keyboard and mouse, connect our HDMI cable to our monitor, connect the Ethernet port, make sure you connect the power cable, then we're ready to go to the next step. All right guys, so the Orange Pi PC is finally loaded for the first time. Now I'm using putty so that I can record the screen for you. It might look something like this, but it's not gonna look exactly like this. I'm just uh, remotely accessing the Orange Pi PC. So in another video, I'll show you guys how to do that it's pretty simple I, I, I use this method for testing all my like single board computers and stuff like that so I'm not using putty so I can record the screen easily so I don't have to like record the actual monitor when it first loads but when you first load your orange pie it's gonna ask for a login your login is R O O T right root hit enter and the password should be one two three four enter all right so again the password is one two three four by default now what Orange Pi PC is gonna want you to do is to change it. It tells you right here, change password for the root. You have to do it. So first thing you need to do is type in your current password, which is one, two, three, four, hit enter. Enter your new password. Type in a new password. Make it like eight characters long, at least. Type it in mine right now. So I changed my password. Now it's gonna ask you to do a few other things. Just create like a username. I'm just gonna create my name. One, hit enter. You create whatever you want. 
I'm gonna enter the password again. Basically what we're creating is a new user other than the root user. You'll still be able to use the root user, but by default it wants you to create another user other than the root user. So it's, it's gonna ask you for like the full name. I'll just type in my full name. Sim I'm gonna hit enter. I'm just gonna skip the rest of the stuff. This is just to show you guys how this whole thing works. You can type in your, your info if you want. Now it's starting the desktop environment. Now what I'm gonna do is close Putty and I'm gonna remotely access the Orange Pi PC so we can so we can see the graphical user interface. I'm using a program to remotely access the Orange Pi PC because again, I don't wanna capture the screen using a camera. Uh, this way uh, the image comes out better but it's the same screen you guys are gonna see for the first time. All right guys, so this is the graphical user interface when you first load it up. I'm using tight VNC server so I can remotely access the Orange Pi PC so I can do the screen capture. Otherwise, I would have to record my actual monitor and that doesn't look good. So this is what it would look like when you first like load it up. This is the graphical user interface. It's your normal like Linux distro. Now this is the only stable operating system that I, I got to work on the Orange Pi PC. All the other operating systems I tried out didn't work. I mean, I can't really complain. It's only $20. All the Raspberry Pis are like 35. I would would recommend that you get a Raspberry Pi instead of an Orange Pi. But if you got the money, you just want to test it out. You know, it's it's pretty cool. It's only twenty dollars, and it sucks. You you lost twenty dollars. Not a big deal, right? And it is a single board computer, so it is cool. But I do love all single board computers, so pretty slow. If you go to like uh, Internet Explorer, if you try to connect to the internet, I'm gonna use Firefox. I have the internet cable connected. I tried this before. It takes like, wow, 30 seconds this time. A lot faster than before. First time I did it, it took like two minutes for the browser to load. It's got everything that you would need and you could do pretty much anything you would be able to do with a Raspberry Pi and Raspbian. If you guys have the money, you wanna test it out. I'm gonna leave a link to everything that you saw in this video in the description. And I'm also gonna leave a link to the Orange Pi PC where you can purchase it. And that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. Stay tuned for more Orange Pi PCs. I will do like a comparison with the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna install Geekbench and compare it to the other Raspberry Pis. I have like a spreadsheet and I recorded all the other Raspberry Pis like benchmarks like how hot they got their benchmark score so and we're gonna test out the Orange Pi PCs to see where it falls in with all the other single board computers. Alright guys so that's pretty much it. I'm Rasim from RosmarTech.com and thank you guys for watching.